We're going to visit little Hagia Sophia Mosque in Istanbul, Turkey. I use the POV method, the camera is on my forehead and I try my best that you really feel being here. So grab your snacks and enjoy your space and time travel. We are going back to the 6th century, Byzantine era. Hello everyone, today is October the 8th, 12.30 p.m. It's sunny and of course windy as it is mostly in Istanbul. We are at the previous Byzantine church and the current mosque, this amazing monument of Romance time that many believes is not given enough credit for, was converted to a mosque during Ottoman Empire. Little Hagia Sophia Mosque or Kuchuk Aya Sophia Jami, which is its Turkish name, is a former Greek Orthodox church dedicated to Saints Sergius and Bacchus. It was built in Constantinople, which was the capital of Roman Empire during the reign of Constantine the Great in 330 AD. The building was built between 532 and 536 AD. For the Ottomans, each tombstone was unique in its own way as it represented the biography of the person buried underneath. Each grave typically has two tombstones a small horizontal footstone and a large vertical headstone with Arabic writing on both sides. The headstone is topped with representation of the headdress of the deceased and describe the gender and social order of that person. As you can see, they are topped with large stone turbans as they would wear according to their orders, for example, pasha, dervish, soldier or eunuch. For women are usually decorated with flowers and topped with hats or draped with simple scarves. The building stands in Istanbul in the district of Fatih at a short distance from the Marmaris Sea near the ruins of the Great Palace, although it's now separated from the sea by the railway line and the coastal road. The complex consists of a courtyard, a graveyard, fountain and chambers and of course the building itself. As you would know, there is another mosque here in Istanbul called Hagia Sophia. Back in time, simply because of the resemblance between the two mosques, especially in their dome, Turkish people called this one the Little Hagia Sophia, but this one was built before the real Hagia Sophia. For a time, it was believed that Little Hagia Sophia was built as a dress rehearsal for the bigger version, but later on this idea was discredited. The word Hagia Sophia in Greek means the Holy Wisdom or Divine Wisdom, which is related to Saint Sophia of Rome, the mother of saints, faith, hope and charity. Two Roman soldiers called Sergius and Bacchus were tortured and murdered in the year 323 AD because of their Christian beliefs. First Sergius was killed and then Bacchus was beheaded. The Roman people and Byzantine armies called them saints and later on they became set within Christian religion with many followers today. Legend says two centuries after their death, the future King Justinian I, the emperor's nephew, was accused of plotting against the throne and sentenced to death. One night, the king saw Saint Sergius and Bacchus in his dream. They vouched for Justinian's innocence. The emperor trusted in his dream and released Justinian. In gratitude, Justinian vowed to dedicate a church to saints once he became emperor. The church was built by Justinian and Theodora shortly after the imperial couple moved to the Great Palace Complex as one of the first acts of the reign of Justinian I. We must have a hijab if we want to go inside the mosque. They provided us with the scarves and the skirts here and we must take off our shoes, of course. It was built on the ground of the palace of Hormistas, the house of Justinian before he was emperor. Hormistas palace was named after a Sassanid prince who was received at the court of Emperor Constantine after fleeing from Persia in 324. Some remains of the palace is still there.
гледни, защото е да го гледни мен. Така, сега за Инстаграм. Не ми говори. За Инстаграм се гледа да се гледа. On the top of the dome, you can see eight names written in Arabic. Allah, God, Muhammad, Prophet, and some other names. Ali, Hassan, Hussein, Osman, Omar, Abu Bakr. Which are caliphs to Sunni people. Caliphs were their leaders of the time. During the time as a church, the water pump was used for baptism. After being a mosque, it was used as a place to perform ablution before prayer. Muslims wash their hands, feet and face in a specific order before prayer, which is called ablution. An interesting fact that worth mentioning is that inside the mosque there is a part on the floor that has a hole about 60 centimeters under the ground, covered with a thick glass, inside resembling a dried out sacred wall. Under the glass there are several ancient foundation stones. It's also believed that this hole used to be a suffering house for monks. We see a little library and the sign says this place is only for reading books. The books are religious and they have kids books as well, of course, religious books. And it's really cozy and warm here. It has a vibe. As you can see, there are carved Greek capital letters on the columns. They are in honor of Justinian, Theodora and Sergius. For some unknown reasons, Bacchus is not mentioned. Other sovereigns have honored the dead man whose labor was unprofitable, but our sceptered Justinian, fostering piety, honors with a splendid abode the servant of Christ begetter of all things. Sergius, whom not the burning breath of fire, nor the sword, nor any other constraint of torments disturbed, but who endured to be slain for the sake of Christ, the God, gaining by his blood heaven as his home. May he in all things guard the rule of the sleepless sovereign and increase the power of the God-crowned Theodora, whose mind is adorned with piety, whose constant toil lies in unsparing efforts to nourish the desert. <laughs> After the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople, the church remained untouched until the reign of Bayezid II. At that time, the church was converted into a mosque by Hussein Agha, the chief eunuch of the harem of Bayezid II. 
His tomb is now in the middle of the cemetery north of the mosque. Additions include a portico at the entrance and a minaret while the dome was covered in lead and the windows were altered. A Sufi lodge with 24 chambers was founded around the mosque while a fountain was built in its courtyard during Ottoman era. We are going to have a complete tour of the courtyard, chambers, interesting story of Hussein Aga, the eunuch, the school he built and why he was beheaded. After converting here into a mosque, Hussein Aga built a school and shops to support the mosque. He also set a foundation of a hammam nearby to support the mosque. Hammam is a kind of a traditional Turkish bath. But some people believe that this bath was built in the time of Constantinople, as it has more of a Byzantine bath style rather than a Turkish one. The little chambers you see around here are now used in displaying art and craft. People in charge here are trying their best to save this amazing monument's history. At the end of this episode, we're going to have a little chat with one of these amazing people. Hussein Aga was the chief eunuch of Haram. Eunuchs were very important in Ottoman's empire. It's said that the reason they had such a high-ranking duty was because of their incapability of having children. They wouldn't be tempted to seize power. They were more reliable than scholar officials. More importantly, eunuchs were unable to be tempted by the harem women as they were castrated and they would remain loyal to the sultan, which were Turkish kings. So they could be both guards and servants in harem or any other woman's quarters, and also king's chamber. What do you think has happened to Hussein Aga, the man who converted the church into a mosque, built the madrasa or a school, and coulier or the shops to support the mosque? He set a foundation to use the income of a hammam to support the mosque. He was beheaded right here in the yard. In some books, his grave or turbe is referred to as turbe of Hussein Aga with a cut off head. He was accused of embezzlement. He was beheaded just like Bacchus. According to the legend, he walked with his own head in his hands and fell on the ground of the mosque's courtyard where his tomb was built in the middle of the graveyard or better said, Hazire in Turkish. <laughs> This place was used as a school for a long time. After new methods of education came along, these kind of old schools were out of business. After that, these small shops are used as a way to pass along history and culture to the next generation. You know, the building was repaired many times during Ottoman Empire, but two earthquakes, using it as a housing for the refugees during the Balkan Wars, humidity, all of this throughout the centuries put the building in great danger. There was another church right next to this one which was older, St. Peter's and Paul's Church with a shared courtyard with St. Sergius and Bacchus Church. Part of this older church were demolished due to construction of the rail line. After all of this, it was added to the UNESCO watch list of endangered monuments. The World Monuments Fund added it to its watch list of the 100 most endangered sites in 2002, 2004, and 2006. After an extensive restoration which lasted several years and ended up in September 2006, it has been opened again to the public and for worship.
Not grave, no, yes, not just grave. a memory. Yes, yes, and decoration. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Listen to the story from a Turkish man in charge. There were the Hornistas Monastery. It means nearby 1700 years ago, 1800 years ago, one Persian guy, per, prince, moved to Istanbul, Constantinople, Theodosius time. He was in the different religious, but he wanted to change the religious to Christian religious. Mm -hmm. From Persian Empire to the Constantinople. The, the Empire giving to him one palace, backside of the church. The name of Hormistas Palace. The name was Hürmüz. He changed uh -huh. the name to Hormistas. Anyway, and then 200 years later, the Justinianus made 
to this lovely church. Mm -hmm. He was living backside of this church, one uh, that palace, the Hormistas Palace. But the name changed. Hormistas Palace name that year, the sixth century, Justinianus House. Mm -hmm. He was living his his wife Theodora with Justinianus, and he made this the church his palace garden. Yeah. And there were one monastery again the Palace Hormistas Palace, but there were the Hormistas Monastery because he was so religious guy. He changed his religious mm -hmm. and he interested too much Christian religious and. Next years again the Hormistas monastery, so powerful monastery, powerful monastery in the uh, Byzantine Empire, East Byzantine Empire. But when Turk came to here, nearby 13th century crusaders destroyed the city, 18 percent. And before the 200 years ago, the Turks visited Istanbul. And when Turks came to here, the Hormistas monastery wasn't nice, uh, nice, and church wasn't nice. And architect Sinan touched it. He made it the last part of the, the church and mm -hmm. changed the mosque. And this monastery changed the madrasa. Mm -hmm. You know, like a school, small one, sagir. Sagir means the küçük, mm -hmm. küçük madrasa, like a tekke. And like a, before the university, like a faculty for the judgment and law you're preparing. And for our the culture, uh, Aziz Mahmud Hudayi was living the first room by mm -hmm. seven years he has the one more house the asian side the people called he is flying but no he know the geography with his boat little boat passing from here the asian side but he he known which the closed uh, the the distance Closest yes distance. in that same day the people can see to him the asian side <laughs> or the Asian side. people suppose he's flying because he's a religious guy too but he is just interested with science. He knows the which the, uh, you know the winds coming, you know the mm -hmm. waves. Anyway, uh, end of the Ottoman Empire. This kind of the madras is not using the same. Uh, the how can I say? Uh, beginning. Uh, they are not giving the, the same. How can I say? Action, uh, action like the, uh -huh. the beginning, and with the Turkish Republic, we changed our education system like Europe. I mean, we opened the high school, universities, and this kind of school system finished. But there is, the government gave the some foundation you can use like a cultural center. And we are one of them. 30 years ago, our foundation took from the government for the cultural uh, the uh -huh. stuff. And then we have one newspaper and the last 30 years we preparing and every 15 days we are giving free breakfast in here and we are searching one issue and one professor or academic person giving to us about our history what happened thousand years ago the people moved this religious uh, the so peaceful because we put our foundation Hoca Ahmed Yesevi Hoca is the teacher you know like mm -hmm. Ahmed is a name and Yesevi is a thousand years ago the people called you from the location name, uh -huh. like a surname. Yesevi is a town in Kazakhstan, but there were the Turkish minority, thousand, to, today too, and we put to his name. Why? Because thousand years ago, people, I said you, the different religious, like a pagan style, to Turkish, shamanism, kamanism, we say. And then, uh, but when the ma they meet, met with Islam, they didn't understand this religious because it was the Arabic. Mm -hmm. And the many people talking about the Persian, but the Turks talking Turkish language. But Hoca Ahmed Yesevi explained the, the Islam religious, the Turkish people in Turkish language, and people understood mm -hmm. felt, and moved this religious with peace. And we are searching today what happened that day, you know, they carry the, the wood knife. I mean, it means the no war mm -hmm. and this is the more soft understanding of islam and we are carrying the, this, uh, the culture for next generation with the center i hope we are trying and you are welcoming like you and we are explaining to from all of the world from iran to argentina japan and everywhere like that. that was so nice you speak very uh yeah, not too much every day we are learning something about the history too because the roman empire part is so huge when big and my uh, the age just 45 years old but i can learn just 45 years mm -hmm. <laughs> we are talking about the thousands of years yeah you know but every day from the books the our president foundation president the writer 
55 books he wrote it and then he's really the fool of the, the, the you know the science history and we took a little bit and we are carrying the next generation like this step by step I'm the younger one I <laughs> like hope that. I can be a part of it and inshallah. people watch this video <laughs> because uh, when I came here uh, I saw many tourists that came they don't explore around okay, they just yeah, yeah, take yeah. a quick look, 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 look and go but discovery is more important yeah. I think. And uh, exactly when I came, because I've read before the, about these rooms mm -hmm. and I was curious where they are. And when I saw that they are using it like this, yeah. I was shocked. But now explaining it to me, I see it's for cultural. The, yes, normally I put some of the stuff for the, the tourists want this. But normally each room, uh, the mission is that we are carrying the one, the, the Turkish and the art, the culture, the art or something. And I interesting with the aromatic oil normally. Uh, why? Because again, the Turks was the so nice is gastronomy and the foods. Yeah. And again, they use the healthy things because the life is uh, you need the uh, demands for the fight. You know, mm -hmm. the strong one. Many many reasons they use the nice things, nice greens. And Ibn Sina, the the West people says the Avicenna used the some machine and took to some the the greens the essential oil mm -hmm. thousand years ago. And I looked at and I interesting with this. I'm just interested with the la now lavant rose uh, laurel Daphne. That's enough for me now. But nearby from the ancient Egypt, nearby five hundred uh, the drugs most important for the people more than medicine today yeah exactly What's thank you for the that? tea okay, tea is you know, the art of culture <laughs> we can say the normal turkish guy can drink more or less the five zero <laughs> the, the glasses the tea <laughs> Each day. Uh, in iran we i love tea i know because this is a problem I'm not saying this, the, you know, you know, this is apromagante, mm. the fruit. And I shared the Instagram and one the Iranian, the, the <laughs> page found me, our apromagante more than <laughs> nice than you, but this was the joke. But when I touched uh, this uh, site, the many Iranian, the, you mm. know, the, the page coming me and all the ladies uh, showing the, this kind of yeah. the, the sheets and making the nice we have routine. very similar, similar yeah. cultures and yeah, experiences each other because the last yeah. thousand years we are passing like that yeah. sometimes the friendly sometimes with fighting <laughs> but last 400 years we are okay when i was in the army in the dead border dead border not for the uh, the nowadays nearby 400 years we are used uh, saving the same border with iranian or iran yeah What's your professionality in that? Uh, I, in Iran, I studied electrical engineering okay, in university, cool. and then the coronavirus came. Okay. I taught English for okay. about a year and a half, okay. and we just m uh, migrated here with my husband about okay. two months ago. We okay. are going, planning to stay Is here for a year. Oh, normally last uh, last years, you know, the three years four years the min minority the Istanbul to ch change it's like a so nice flower and everybody smiling <laughs> a little bit and everybody want to come to here you know exactly in my apartment I'm living uh, in the Fatih district mm -hmm. Fatih Mosque and up my floor Lebanon and, and then the Morocco you know the many you know the this East culture coming to it because we took to uh, open the border mm -hmm. with them Sometimes good, sometimes not, because you know you can under uh, you know the feeling. When I was the children of 30 years ago, we can go to any home inside, and one lady preparing to us the one half bread of the cheese, <coughs> but we don't know who are you know the doors was open. But today we are not too much trusting the people because we don't know. He's not in Turkey, far away. Who is he? You know, it's not contact the trust. This issue is not good, but the many cultures coming again, and we are maybe making the new culture in here. We don't know. We will see on the future, because you know we were together. We left again. You are coming in here now, <laughs> and then we are mixing again. We are carrying the next generation. We will see it. I think the. 
positive side of it, I like it more because for a foreigner living here, mm -hmm. just moving here, it's a little just the same feeling as you said. I ha I have experienced them too, but you know the just the sweetness of us sitting yeah. here talking. Yeah, yeah. This is in our culture. It's good. We, we go you, we, when you go to the Anatolia. I was in the. You, I say to you one week ago. I was on vacation, and I uh, visited the really village of the, the uh, Turkey. You know, not you can see maybe just the sea coast. It's the popular part, but when you go to two kilometers, three kilometers inside of the village, you can meet with the real the farmer of the Turks, mm -hmm. and then they can share with you everything. You know? Oh, the, like the, maybe the same in your country too. We know that it's the good people in everywhere, but you yeah. can see in maybe in France or uh, the Amsterdam or like that the human is okay, but. This is in our culture. Like yes, that. exactly. Unfortunately, I don't know any Turkish. I'm learning it. Oh, it can be. No, I no hope in learning. just five months, if I can learn Turkish, I can communicate with people more. Uh, I sometimes uh, the people asking me, Bura, how can I speak in English?" I'm saying, the, "Who is it? The Simpsons." You know the Simpsons. And the cartoon. Simpsons. Yes, cartoon. You know, the nice. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. Twenty minutes, and then. Just not with it just for the Simpsons sometimes, you know, the, this is the one the con uh, the conversation yeah. the Simple one in your life Stop it and write it every day. You will write the ten the conversation with them And then they are saying because the Simpsons for the all of the world or this kind of the movies or cartoons mm -hmm. Then the level is for everybody and for you too and then one hour you will interest it 20 minutes but you will stop right again and then you will the tens or the twenties you will understand and for you too to, uh, uh, watch the turkish movie yeah i am watching it's tv the, series uh, it's the good things you know all the times maybe with iranian if you changing and then stop it the beginning of the conversation uh, yeah. will give you the <laughs> here and then you will find all of it <laughs> thank you Inshallah. There is peaceful part of the city, exactly. Here. Because 1,600 years, the people interested just with the peace, or the, the religious, or the science, not with fight, you know, the capital life, blah, blah. This atmosphere turning again. <laughs> yeah. I had a hotel before. I was captain. And I changed my uh, the career to uh, the tourism business 20 years ago. It was the war, you know, the Iraq and the United States, and sea business was down. And I changed my, I didn't find nice ship for work. And I changed to my business to tourism. And like I start, start like a bellboy, reception, front office manager, manager, and I uh, opened nice. my place. And s some days I was visiting to here and drinking the tea, but with that side, one day old guy passed front of me and he came to two step back and asked me, what's your name? And I said, Bura. And he said, me, follow me. And we walked from here to this room and he went inside and opened the one black notebook and saying his surname, so seriously, and he wrote it. And our love started 10 years ago. Like <laughs> and then step by step, every day, I helped to this foundation uh, with the, from my heart. You can understand the found that this foundation not about the money, rich, you know, like that. A simple one, because we have this kind of two. But I said, oh, Bora, this is your place, okay? And then step by step, I helped uh, many things. The, um, Sunday morning, I helped them. You know, in Ramadan, we are giving the f the, the the food to people, and then I helped them, okay? Uh, I saw it. I'm the the family inside of this member, and they gave me the how can I say? Or broke with stuff they write me like a manager mm -hmm. to here too inside and i'm interested here we are not helping too much but it's living the people can visiting <laughs> you know the flow is going i mm -hmm. think that's enough yeah yeah because yeah. from one per from you to another person yeah. from that yeah. 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 this yeah. is yeah. how this it is, works this is our times you know uh, i said the 1700 100 600 is the people the the tried something like me 
the next generation will come we will die but this kind of building will live but end of the way everything will go to god <laughs> <laughs> this is not for us <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice conversation. Thank you, okay, so, thank you, your you so yeah, much. And because if you have your friends or uh, the family or anybody, you can say to them, please visit Godzilla Sofia and they can find me and I can explain to here. I have many things, but in this conversation, we shared it just this. But next people yeah. will know maybe different things because you're really huge one. Yeah, you're here every day. Exactly. Uh, in the morning, I'm coming in here about the the, the the fort prey. I'm step by step going to my home. I'm interested in weekday about the papers or something mm -hmm. in here. But in uh, weekend, too much interesting with the guests too. Like you, I saw you a <laughs> few minutes ago on the mirror. You think so? I have to be everything I'm checking like that. So uh, I would come here again. And I will see you. I will Thank edit you so this much. video and show it to you. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, no, so it, much it, for it, the it, tea. It, it, Thank you. It, Thank okay. you. It was so nice meeting nice you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Have a great And let's get Bye. back to the present time. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments that would help me improve the videos, it's appreciated. See you next time.